Okay, so fun fact, adding and subtracting are sometimes different in chemistry. <laughs> uh, and lucky you, we get to learn how to do that, okay? I know that sounds crazy, but sometimes if you put something in your calculator and it gives you a number, your calculator's stupid and it doesn't take into consideration significant figures. So you are going to be smarter than your calculator. Congrats, okay? The, the basic rule of adding and subtracting with sig figs has to do with place value. Okay, so remember like way back in the day, we're talking elementary school, and you learned about your, your place value, your ones place, your tens, your hundreds, your thousands, because we actually need to know that for adding and subtracting with sig figs, okay? And you can never be in your answer of adding and subtracting. You can't be more precise than what the, the smallest place value you had was, okay? What the least precise place value you had was. We'll just look at an example, I think. What your book will describe this as is that the answer you get, okay, uh, the sum or difference from adding and subtracting, it cannot be more precise than the number you started with that has the fewest digits to the right, okay? If that doesn't make sense to you, don't worry. <laughs> We're gonna break down. Okay, so if I had an example, 5.214 plus 1.1. And I added these up and I put this in my calculator, beep, boop, beep, okay? My calculator would spit out 6.314, that right? That's what my calculator would give me. My calculator is wrong, okay? I cannot be this precise in my number. I can only go to this place value, to my tenths place value here. I cannot go beyond it because I, I was not that precise. I, I did not have that significant figure for this measurement. So anything here is out, okay? So I can only go to my tens place here. Now, I do need to actually look at these numbers because I need to, to figure out, different color, if I need to round up or stay the same. But the one does not make the three round up. I just stay, okay? So my calculator tells me 6.3. One four, but in reality, my answer is going to be 6.3, okay? Because I cannot go beyond the precision that I know, okay? I can't go beyond this place value. We'll do another example. All right, if I had 7.8 minus 3, my calculator would spit out 4.8, okay? This is not correct. This is not correct, okay? So I can only go to my ones place value because the three only went to the ones place value, okay? So anything beyond that, I can't have it. It is important to have this here though so that I can figure out, am I going to round up or do I stay the same? And the point eight, this eight is going to make the four round up. So my actual answer is not going to be 4.8. My actual answer should be 5. All right, if I did another example, uh, if I did 500 plus 20, this is, a, <laughs> this is a weird one, okay? You would think that you would get 520. This is what your calculator would tell you. But we're in chemistry, and this is weird, okay? So you have to look at the, the place value that you know in your precision, which means you have to know your significant figures. Because there's no decimal here, because there's no decimal here, these zeros are just kind of placeholders. They're not significant, okay? Which means that the kind of place value that I know the least, which is the, the value that I can go to, is my hundreds, right? 500, I don't know my tens place, I don't know my ones place, so I cannot have a tens or a ones place. I can only have that hundreds place value. <sighs> Welcome, it's joyful, right? So I check and see, is this two gonna make the five round up? Nope, I'm gonna stay, which means my actual answer should be 500, okay? I know this hurts your brain and it hurts your heart because you just wrote 500 plus 20 is 500. 
Okay, just wait, wait until we get to uh, multiplication and division. All right, I get it. it. It can be a little awkward and a little weird. There's a ton of examples in your book. There are a lot of examples in the homework. Um, another one that I want you to see would be if we had something like this. Okay, 255 plus 40. All right, if I had 255 plus 40, my calculator would say 295. Right, but I don't know this zero. That's just a placeholder. There's no decimal place there, which means I cannot have my ones place. I need to go to my tens place. All right, and this five is going to make the nine round up, which means the nine is going to make the two round up, which means I'll have three hundred. But now you're in a serious problem because how can you show in your answer that this zero is significant, but this zero is not significant, right? Because I don't know this, this place value, my ones place value. So I cannot say 300 decimal point, because then I'm saying that that ones place value is known. I can't say 300 without a decimal point, because then I'm saying that the tens place value doesn't matter and it's not significant when it is. Okay, so if you get to something like this, you actually need to go into scientific notation and you will show that, let me scoot this up, okay? So you'd have 3.0 times 10 to the second power to show that you know the three and the first zero are significant and you're multiplying by the, the 10 to the second power to show that it's this actual value, okay? It all works together in chemistry and it makes us all so happy because there's lots of math, okay? Uh, there's a scientific notation video coming. I don't know if I can figure out how to link that. I will attempt. It gets tricky. The best way to, to deal with adding and subtracting with significant figures is to practice a ton. Do a ton of problems. Go do some extra problems. And then when you're done with that, go back and do the problems that you already did and make sure that you're getting that you're getting the correct answer. <sighs> All right, good luck.